We are here because we are officially unveiling this beautiful mural here. Part of our Summer of Solidarity, Season of Solidarity, LA versus Hate campaign. My name is Robin Toma. I'm Executive Director of the LA County Commission on Human Relations. We see it as building the infrastructure against hate that we need here in LA County. I mean, it's beyond words, honestly, to see people really putting their heart and dedication, whether it be uh, the artists <laughs> using their art um, as a, a weapon against hate. Everything is one step closer to a hate-free world, right? versus hate is actually a very new bold initiative by the county which was launched a few years back when we saw that the numbers of hate crimes that were being reported to us had been continually rising year after year in a way that was unprecedented we've always recognized that art is a powerful tool for a lot of things in our world and particularly in a world that is experiencing so much turmoil and also experiencing the discrimination, hate, prejudice that exists out there. Even though in many ways, you know, that's the minority of what happens among people in LA County. We know when it happens, it's very jarring. It can make you feel like you suddenly you don't belong. And art has a way of reaching people on a different level. I think I ended up creating the composition that you see here through a lot of reflection. I wanted to make something that symbolizes life in a non -rep like human representational way. So I really wanted to go about that in a way that was not so on the nose. So like people really wanted me to portray like the resilience of the community here in the Antelope Valley. And so I think like a great metaphor for that is the poppy. The poppy grows in a, can grow in a very, very harsh climate and the desert heat out here in Lancaster, but it's, such, it's so beautiful, but also delicate. And I think that's a great metaphor for the community here as well. So it was really drawn to the metaphor of the poppy, its life cycle, because it's, it's a plant that blooms, blossoms, plants its seeds, it comes back to life every year. And I think like life has cycles like that of, of hardships, of beauty. But in the end, like I think there's beauty to find in the human experience. And I think that transcends time and place. So, really try to explore that concept, but also keep very much keep in mind like what the community wanted to see visually. So yeah, that's how I came to putting this composition together. A lot of it also is influenced by my own culture, my Tongva heritage, our, our basket weaving traditions, and also other indigenous communities that make textiles, basketry, contemporary and ancient forms of art. So all those things really influence what, I, what you see here today. There's narrative panels split up throughout the image and those are also meant to represent different forms of solidarity con and connectivity amongst like human beings and human experience. So portions of the panels have like hands exchanging food, exchanging water. I think these like basic necessities to life that connect us across time and place and the human experience, these, these essentials really. I felt it was important and the, the community felt it was important to try and demonstrate that in some way that there is solidarity and community here in the Antelope Valley and people do support each other. I think art has the potential to have that transformative power to be able to connect people visually and it's an, it's an honor that I have the opportunity to, to contribute and engage in, in this way. It really is a privilege to use my talents and skills as an artist and to have people that support the work that I want to make and also work in collaboration with people to promote solidarity, to support love. There is so much hate and intolerance in the communities that we exist in and I think art is one way to unify that and kind of deconstruct these mis misconceptions in so many ways like even in the painting process to have the young folks involved there's so many different hands from so many different backgrounds that have come come together to help make this happen. Well, we have to wait to make sure we get a bunch of money. Not yet. One, two, 
three. Yay! Our strategy for recognizing that there have been communities here in LA County who have been targeted consistently with hate crime, with acts of hate, and that they are the ones who experience it most in our county. I mean, we're talking about the African American community, the black community, the Latino community, Latine community, the uh, LGBT community, and the Jewish community. We wanted to really uplift those communities and also recognize, you know, that they're communities which are almost struggling against invisibility, like the indigenous communities for so long have been a part of our communities, are the first ones that were in this land, but yet are in many ways not recognized, not appreciated. We actually worked with communities to say, what is it that you think is important for you to uplift so that you can really show that sense of belonging that you have with here in LA County? And what could you do to really help to convey the connectedness of, of your community with our larger community and the unity within your community? The whole process was really beautiful, so I was definitely excited to start a mural. The inspiration from the mural came from the responses, a lot of like uh, some key elements that came uh, from like memories, um, also talking about like the resistance of El Monte fighting against hate, a uh, very key pivotal moments of El Monte, and yeah, a celebration too, right? So uh, having a good balance of positive and negative and how El Monte has subsided that or overseeded that. A historian actually came, came through the workshops. That was also really nice to have these moments that we wouldn't otherwise really have known aside of like you really research. He wrote down some of those movements and so that really inspired to also El Monte is known for berries, walnuts, so things that like I wouldn't have known unless I took a super deep dive. So it was really beautiful to have like a historian in the workshops. Also, you know, um, acknowledge the past, the present and then the future too. The message I would like to send is how um, art plays a key role in many things, right? The form of expression, it's therapeutic. It's also a way of documenting and archiving. It means so much, you know, sadly it's like the first thing that gets cut, but I think that, you know, really highlighting how important the arts are and can be to the youth and intergenerational to anybody. So the diversity I definitely wanted to highlight within the mural when I'm Central American. There's also representation of AAPI. So definitely having that right, like seeing a full spectrum and like the beauty that comes with so many faces, cultures, foods, and how we also connect, right? So that's why there is like an element of physical touch within the mural of different meanings of like hug and embraceful hug, a solidarity touch. So different ways, especially, you know, through the pandemic, right, of not having that. And also coming from a culture where you're very much, you know, hugging and like touching and stuff. Um, so what physical touch can mean um, and how important and pivotal that is. I know that there's so much excitement that's been generated by our LA versus State murals. I fully anticipate that we're going to continue to, to create works of art that will have not just bring beauty, but also meaning and a message to our partners in our diverse communities of LA County. The beautiful example of how we can extend the power of art and use it to unify our communities to stand up against hate. The main theme is La Dorva Dor, which means from generation to generation. And it's kind of how the Jewish traditions have passed on from generation to generation, despite hate, despite violence and other sorts of things like that. And it's called the common thread because while there are so many different kinds of Jews in so many different communities all over the world, we all share that one common thread. This is supposed to represent like a mother lighting the Shabbat candles, which is very traditional. And if you look here in her headscarf, there's different patterns that represent Jewish uh, culture, and this is the generations to generations coming down from a great-grandmother all the way to a little baby. And these are things that symbolize the Jewish culture, pomegranates, saffron, things like that. And this is kind of the path that has been from being Jewish 
And, you know, this is supposed to represent the Los Angeles diaspora. The timing is so important for a mural like this because anti-Semitism is unfortunately really on the rise due to current events. Whether something is going on or not around the world, it's something that people struggle with. It's definitely relevant now and always. I hope that somebody who sees it feels seen themselves. I hope that they feel like they're not alone and that their struggle is understood. So it kind of runs back to the name of my mural, which is The Common Thread, and it runs through all of us, truly. This is an image of the mural in Long Beach at Bixby Park and it represents the embrace of the many communities that are part of Long Beach. This image is created by sort of like different vignettes and different scenes so these are kind of broken down by the arms and the, and the head figure, the shoulder and they each show different spaces um, that represent different spaces in Long Beach, so like the open, the openness of the ocean, Bixby Park is right by the ocean, you can see it from the mural, and vice versa. Um, the nightlife, also hospitals, right? Care is so important, not just the, the, the party scene. Also right here, we see a lot of historic figures from the founders of Pride, of Long Beach Pride, students, Cal State Long Beach, a lot of organizations that were supporting fellow community members. This is a beautiful effort. Like our, what we're doing as visual artists is just putting it in images. Solidarity has always been there. We're just painting it. A lot of community came out and spoke about their experience about being part of the LGBTQIA2 plus community and also being allies and just being part of, of Long Beach and it all was not separate, right? Like being an ally, being queer, being part of Long Beach, being a person of color, a person with disability, and an environmentalist, like it all was overlapping and, and everybody felt like they were sort of in the same community and very much embracing each other. My hope is for the queer community to see it and know that there's people in history, people in their community, their neighbors, in the future people will always be supporting and like you're never really alone, like there's always the embrace. They're going to recognize that uh, this is something special. For me, it evoked a sense of awe at the, the meaning, at the beauty of it and the richness of it in terms of the imagery and the different symbols and references to community history. The panels that go along with it help to tell some of that background, who the community partners have been, and also provide a resource for people to know that they need to take action when they see hate happening. Something that we're trying to change the culture of. Uh, art is part of our culture and it's an important part of our culture. What's behind me is this All For You, uh, done with mural colors in LA versus hate. My main mission with this mural was less of me and just listen, be a vessel. The community was really great with advising everything. Um, everyone had brilliant ideas. In fact, the color choice of the purple was also a community member that was like, I'm so tired of seeing the gangs with the red and the blue. I wish they would just come together and be purple. And I was like, 
Yes, <laughs> yes. And on top of that, purple means royalty and legacy, and that's what we're restoring here with our art. This is actually veneration of Velma Grant. She, along with Paul Williams, had a great vision for Willowbrook in the 1940s. They turned, I think, like 50 acres of undeveloped land into Carver Manor. And so actually on the right-hand side of the mural, you'll see a Paul Williams um, architecture with the houses being stacked. If you see within the uh, mural, there's actually two different types of symbolism for Sankofa. It's an ancient Ghanaian proverb, meaning uh, you must know your past in order to know your present and to walk forward into your future. So there's two different symbols for it. There's the heart shape, and you'll see that all throughout the mural. And then you also will see the Sankofa bird that's actually on Velma, or the central figure's necklace. We have a little scene from Magic Johnson Park with the musician and the butterflies, and the saxophone actually has the butterflies coming out of it as the notes almost. And that's to signify transformation and hope and a new beginning for Willowbrook. We are a beautiful mosaic of people. We are black, we're Latinx, we're Asian, Pacific Islander, indigenous, a mixture of all of those. And yet we are proud of our uniqueness, our individuality, our ability to love ourselves, and our ability to respect and love one another. The other special thing about the mural at the Willowbrook Center is that it was the culmination of our summer and season of solidarity murals. It brought together so many of the partners from not only this mural, but other past murals. And it was a kickoff for our United Against Hate Week and something that we really look to to energize our community in doing something meaningful to support the work against hate. Even if you look at the other murals that are a part of this program, a lot of them have the same overlapping themes, and so there's not really much of a difference. It's just learning each other's cultures and finding the uniqueness of each and celebrating them, but really realizing that we're all together. I hope that love will prevail over everything else, truly. It's made the community come together really in a nice way. And so it's, it's really a beautiful thing to connect across time and place and to have so many different people involved. And I think all that, that collaborative process is, is what connects us. Let there be color through the light we promised we'd see through all. Let there be color as love is no longer something we tread lightly about. Let there be color through murals and mirrors and mira, the iridescent marsh and butterflies and memories children build, cycling away and returning always back to home. When we talk about how do we shift the culture of, of being passive in the face of hate because it seems like just something we've had to just deal with our whole lives. Many times nothing seemed to be done about it or it seemed to, that it could be done about it. We recognize that we now have a resource that we want people to use. And this is also a reminder, not only of their sense of belonging in this community and how we can learn about each other's community through these murals, but it's a way for us to be reminded that we all are together in this fight against hate. And that together through art, through community, through solidarity, we will defeat hate. Stop the hate made me feel like I belong. And I know I belong, but... Thank you.